By far, one of the best armor sets in the game for Tears of the Kingdom is this. This completely alters your look and it puts you in the skin of Link from Link's Awakening Remake that was just released on the Switch a little while ago. And this is what it looks like in the game. It's completely out of place. It's ridiculous. It's hilarious. It's really nice. Actually, I really think it's a good change. But either way, you can get all three parts of this armor in the game organically without any amiibos. That is, of course, the point of my video series to show you how to get these armors without needing to buy anything else like the amiibos so you can enjoy them now. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to get all three parts. So the first piece can be found in this Colosseum Ruins that you've seen before in Breath of the Wild, and that is right here on the map, the Colosseum Ruins, just southwest of Lookout Landing. This is where you're going to be able to get your first piece of the three-piece armor set. And you're going to have to do a little puzzle in here, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do it. First of all, let's take care of this dragon. All right, so that was pretty easy. Uh, you will be able to just avoid him if you cannot handle the dragon. You're just going to have to be a little quick and maybe a little stealthy. I would recommend some stealth and uh, you'll be able to just come right in here to the side, to the back end, and you'll see some statues. So let's just run over there real quick. At the opposite end of the Colosseum from the entrance that you can walk into, you're gonna see two statues. One statue is gonna look like this, and he'll be holding a sword just like that. You're gonna see the usual stone slab there covering the entrance to the cave, and you're gonna see another statue just like this with no sword eye, just coincidentally, you know? This sword will be lying here, and you'll, all you have to do is pick it up and put it in his hands. So you can technically sneak in here and do this. And then this will open up, and in you go. That's just, just like that. The Colosseum Ruins Cave. And straight away, you'll be gifted and granted the Pants of Awakening, the Trousers of Awakening, which are these things here that I'm wearing right now. The next piece is in the Ancient Columns, all right? This is the same place that was here in Breath of the Wild. It's located in the west part of the map, just here, and you can see it in the bigger scale. So it's just south of Tabitha Frontier. And this in here at the top part. Now, yes, there is another dragon guarding this area. However, like I said with the last one, you can probably avoid it. The only reason you'd ever encounter that dragon is if you came up the actual intended path, which is on the opposite side of the way you're likely going to arrive here. So this is awkward, this one, because this is closed and there's a lot of pillars. There is a quest that references you having to do something with one of the pillars here. And that makes you go and looking around for ages. But the only pillar you need is really nearby. It's this thick ass one here that's just beside the entrance. All you'd have to do is climb up. Let's climb up to the top. And on the top, there's a little switch you just stand on. That is all you gotta push. And the whole thing will open up. And in we go to claim the tunic. Down here is just the shrine by itself. There's nothing else to do. The tunic of awakening rests in a chest inside there. So the next one is a bit of a pain, but it is for the best piece of the set, which is of course the headpiece. It's gonna make you look like this, like Link from Link's Awakening, the remake. So this is really nice. But the reason this place is annoying is because when you first arrive here, odds that you have rainy, stormy weather are very high, which is going to make an issue for you to light a fire and change the time of day because you're gonna need shelter to do that. Technically, you could try and find one of the big maybe mushrooms and maybe that will work if you light a fire underneath it because it might count as shelter but that's only one of the problems the second problem is it requires you to build something fairly long and there's nothing around here so you'll either have to bring your own materials or rely on auto build if you have something you can use so there's two things i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do but on the map here it's tundra plateau it's the northern part of it which is with all the mushrooms here and that again is just southeast of Rito village here you can see it on the map right there so so if you got the quest, the quest actually tells you connect this pillar's shadow to this pillar's shadow in midday. Well, let's just make it midday first. So go ahead and get a piece of wood out. Drop that right there and light a fire so we can rest at it. Bam. Let's sit there and make it noon, all right? Let's rest until noon. All right, so at noon, we are now at midday, and you can see the issue here. This is what they wanted us to do. They want us to connect this shadow to that shadow, but that the, both shadows are facing north at this point, so you will have to do auto-build. This hole, of course, is blocked by a stone slab, as you might expect. So auto-build is really convenient here. You can actually get some really good stuff that is just already pre-made. You'll be able to find these later on in the game as you play through, and you can build build one as a bridge. Just go ahead and build the bridge. 
Just plonk that down right there. And as long as that is connecting the shadows, it doesn't even have to be on top. Just make sure it's connecting the two shadows like this. That's all you'll need. Then you'll trigger the opening sequence for this thing. And in you go. The alternative to using auto build is bringing your own materials. You can, of course, bring them on a wagon attached to your horse. It only has to be maybe logs from a tree. You can do that very easily from an early point in the game. Just get a stone axe, get a bunch of logs and fuse them together and bring them here. All right, that's all you got to do. But inside, guys, you're going to get the mask of awakening. This is that mask and he looks fabulous. <laughs> that, everybody, is a wrap on this set. Hopefully, you guys get that and enjoy it because it certainly stands out i think it's great anyway i hope you appreciated the guide drop a like drop a sub if you're new as well if you if you did let me know what other armor sets you're interested in if you were watching other amiibo videos you'll know all of those are actually available in the game without amiibos and i'm here to give you those guides to show you how to get them exactly so you don't have to spend any money on those amiibos and you can just get them early on so you can play as your favorite form, I guess, of Link or whatever other armor says there are. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around in the next video. Till then, bye.